since the release of their debut album Surfer Rosa last year, the Pixies have been revered by both press and public alike. They've now got a new album out called Doolittle, so I spoke to Charles and Joey and asked them what they thought of all this attention. Surprised. I'm uh, not surprised. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm surprised too. No, I, honestly, we, I, I haven't been reading what's been going on. We're really. pretty unconnected being in the States and all. And yeah. <clears throat> we go and buy them a week later over at the music shop and open them up, and it's kind of like a different band. I mean, what I'm getting at is when you started out, didn't, isn't that what you expected? You were hoping that people would be oh, yeah, by yeah, you Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. Oh, that's we were gonna, that's the whole point of doing this for us. And have some fun. Do you think, do you want to be one of those bands that um, people cite as an influence in years to come? Maybe. But mostly what matters is that people think in the end that they made some cool rock and roll records and that they enjoy listening to them. Just like we enjoy listening to records of days gone by. Charles, going back to a bit in your biography, um, sites that when, when you were younger you said that your family got into religion. Mm -hmm. and um, you were exposed to it for quite a long time and you said that it mess messed you up in a way. Do you, do you feel bit bitter about that or is... Oh, no, no. I mean, just... You ever hear that song by Sonic Youth called I Got a Catholic Block? Well, it's kind of like that, I suppose. But, um... <clears throat> but I've benefited as well. So I'm not bitter, no. Not at all. Well, do you think the press, in a way, make too much about the whole religious and... Uh, well, I know they pick on the incest bits in your song, but the religion and everything. Do you think that people do pick up too much on what you say? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah, overblown. I think we're a Latino band, too, because we have a couple of songs in Spanish. But two out of 30 songs a Latino band does not make, you know? Gypsy Kings are pretty Latino. Los Lobos is pretty Latino, but we're not. A couple of religious imageries. A couple of religious images doesn't make us a quasi-religious band. Do you ever think <clears throat> that the Pixies can go so far and then, like a lot of other great bands, you're going to have to split up in your time? Like a lot of bands split up at their prime in a way. Do you think the Pixies will do that or do you think, do you ever not think that far ahead? That's probably what, it'll either happen that we decide that this is our prime and we'll stop it right then and there and It'll be cooler that way, but probably we'll be too addicted to the, the life or whatever, you know what I mean? That we'd probably just keep doing it. It would be dreadful and awful. You want to drag it out yeah. to its death or something? Yeah. Do you think you've got any weaknesses at all? No. <laughs> I, think, I think, though, if you... I fear that pretty soon people are just going to put the magnifying glass on us. Or something like that to that effect and just like maybe see some start bringing out the faults maybe but nah we don't have any right no no do you ever get nervous at all yes i do you i do Yep. How do you combat that? I mean, what do you think when you sort of have to go on stage facing all these people that you don't know? And what exactly sort of goes through your mind just as about you're about to walk on stage? As we're about to walk on The nervous... Yeah. If, you're, if you're nervous... Joey has a whiskey sometimes. I'll have a... Your Glenfiddich. Is that, true? Is that right? Single malt thingy? It calms me down. Or sometimes, yeah, I don't need substance to really do that. I, could, I, could, I, could I play with my knobs a little bit when I get home. <laughs> always checking them to make sure they're on. I know they're on, but I always check them in. Just turn the nervousness into... We transform it into the most amazing, powerful rock show. <laughs> then we play every, all the songs too fast. <laughs> <laughs> this thing does really good at making us nervous right there. Yeah, that thing right there. Right there. It's not making me funny right now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it. I can feel it. Do you think that, that you have to be mysterious? Do you think there should be a gap between you and the audience at all? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, but that um, isn't so deliberate. It's just I'm up there and they're down there, and and uh, I'm not talking, having a conversation with them. I'm just making them listen to my record or whatever or my song. So yeah, mystery is nice. And it helps. But a lot of bands are so sort of concerned with getting on a one-to-one -one, in a way basis with their audience. No way. No way. I'm just I'm there to entertain and. And I have no responsibility to them except to entertain them. They have no responsibility to me except to pay the ticket price. That's it, you know? And I just want to play music and I want them to, to enjoy it. I don't want to communicate one-on-one -on -one with them. Hey, Joe. Yeah. What's the difference between a duck? Uh, both legs are the same. <laughs> One leg is both the same. Yeah. <laughs> One leg is okay. Hey, Joe, what's the difference between a duck? Uh, both legs is the same. No, he did it wrong again. All right. It's <laughs> American. Well, one, one, one leg is the same. <laughs> One leg is both the same. One leg is both the same. <laughs>